He's back, baby. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. <laughs> it's been three years. I know, but when something ends up on the back burner in this shop, it's hard to get it off again. But uh, I thought it was about time to get him back to the front. For those of you who have not yet seen part one, that's linked down in the uh, video description, by the way, this is no ordinary power droid. This, this is designed to be an AIB, an autonomous inebriation D, droid, AID. From the beginning, he was intended to be a beer cooler. But after three years, I'm, I'm not even sure where to start. I think I'm just gonna jump in and, uh, I don't know, go ahead and commit to these guys and maybe, maybe add a little detail to this, uh, this cummerbund down here. Unit, A-I-U, I-U, I-U, I-U-1. I think I just came up with a name for him. I don't know. Uh, you got ideas? Let me know in the comments. I always love using this, uh, this Thixo from Total Boat. It's a two-part epoxy, it gets mixed in the tip. It's perfect for oddball stuff like this where you need a good strong hold. Uh, you, can, uh, you can get a discount on all of their products, by the way, if you follow the link down in the description. In fact, you know what? I never liked these brackets that I put in here originally. I'm gonna get rid of these. I'm just gonna reinforce the whole thing with Thixo. Loads, exciting and new, for your hands, they're protecting you. Yeah, that, that's actually a song I sing every time I do this. There's a regular and a fast cure version, by the way. Why they didn't call this one Quixo Thixo, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so after three years, I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't really have a plan. Um, I, but I do know this fits here. This is, well, basically his face. There's gonna be some, some electronics here behind it, so. Uh, this being the cooler area, I, I know I'm, I'm going to need to like build like a, like a firewall right here and insulate the rest of this. So uh, I, think, I think I'm just going to have to jump in. Nope. Nope. Already? Come on. Reset the counter. I, I spent 15 minutes getting this part right. There's an angle here, there's an angle here, and there's an angle here. That's supposed to sit up here on, on top. Sure there's an appropriate Star Wars insult for myself. Nerf herder? It's the only insult I can remember from Star Wars. 
Call me something good from Star Wars. Down in the comments. I deserve it. Yeah, I've got a general idea of, of where everything's going here, um, and I've got some basic measurements. Uh, but it's a, it's a lot of custom fitting because I've got I've got an angle here and here and here, and there's corners with fixo in them, and I got these little notches. And it's it's all I kind of like working like this sometimes because it's it, it's like sculpting. It's just time consuming. Now I just need a lid. Perfect. All right. So now, now we have a place to put the beers, but I, I feel like the top is doing all the work. As, as he usually does, but I think, I think we need to give the bottom a job. St stop, it. just stop it. So um, you may have heard my uh, laser cutter whirring in the background here. I am just finishing up the last two batches of the ray gun panels that you guys ordered. Thank you guys so much. And uh, if you like sci-fi stuff, well, I mean, you're watching a guy build a gonk droid, you should check out the videos where I, uh, where I make these. They're based on patents from the 1950s. People really seem to dig Design B, which I have since discovered is called the Pyrotomic Disintegrator. By the way, Christmas is coming up fast and these are still available for sale over on my website. And uh, you know what, I'm just gonna say it. If you need a website, you should follow the link below to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain at Squarespace. Before I started making stuff, I used to be in web development and you could not pay me enough to go back to that. I've been using Squarespace for several years now because it makes it so much easier. Whether you need a personal site or a professional online presence for a growing business, Squarespace has the tools you need even if you have no prior experience building a website. You can choose from a variety of templates that can be customized however you want, and they offer integrated commerce features so you can sell physical or digital products or services. And with their Fluid Engine, you can create layouts with the kind of simple drag and drop interface that the companies I worked for back in the 90s were always promising, but never quite delivered. Squarespace made it happen. Again, Go to squarespace.com for your free trial. And when you're ready, go to squarespace.com slash Wesley Treat for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.
This is plywood laminated with aluminum. Bottles are going to be hitting the face of this, so I figure it could use a little reinforcement. That does not work the way I hoped it would. Oh. See, I couldn't find any torsion springs locally, so I, I just had to go with these. I could put it on the side, maybe. I'm not sure that's going to... I don't know. Or maybe if I could just... i just remove that one and let it slide. I don't know if that's going to stay where I put it, but... All right, well, that'll work until it doesn't. I will just keep my eye out for a more appropriate spring. This is a drill. This, this is not a drill. Uh, I'm tired. Oh, yeah, when I get this tilted back, it doesn't want to stay, so I don't know. I'll figure something out. Unless you guys have some suggestions, put them in the comments. Also, I, uh, I just removed this broken nut from a sink drain, which I think it would add the perfect detail. So uh, I'm going to pick up a new one next time I'm out in the real world. Stands up, it's not too bad. All right, I think that'll work. Just add some kind of uh, bag or bin on the inside for cleanup. Okay, so now I gotta finish this top portion. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this lid automatic. I'm gonna put like a linear actuator in here or something so it'll open on command. Uh, but I realized something last night. Uh, if something goes wrong or if the battery dies, I I don't want this lid stuck shut with no way to get inside. So uh, I think, glad I haven't glued any of this down yet. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna make part of this uh, screw down to this flange. That way I've, I've got an emergency way in. It'll make sense in a second. Line. Frack! Wrong franchise! <laughs> Using square drive screws here, by the way, because, I don't know, Phillips just doesn't look right in the Star Wars universe. All right, now, if for some reason my future mechanism gets stuck, I can just take out these three screws and get back inside. A bit, don't you hate, God, that is so infuriating. Does anybody else get unreasonably infuriated when that happens? Infuriating every time. 
Now all that's really left to do, uh, for the cooler at least, is to insulate it. And that's just gonna be a couple layers of this one inch insulation panel. And then I'm gonna line the inside of that with some 1 8 inch PVC sheet, which basically looks like this, but thinner. Then I'm gonna seal that up with some silicone. But I'm gonna wait on that just yet because I wanna seal the inside of that wood with some more Thixo and a couple of coats of penetrating epoxy just to be safe. Before I finish this installment though, there is just one more thing I wanna take care of. It's actually something I was pretty concerned about when I first designed him, but as it turns out, he is surprisingly well balanced on these feet, even though they extend more toward the front than the back. However, the cooler up here extends more toward the back than the front. And I've, I've tested this, I put some weights in here and played with it, and it's fairly unlikely that he would ever tip over, but you know, if you get a whole bunch of bottles gathered toward the back here, maybe the floor isn't quite level, there's a, there's a slight chance he may fall over backwards. And even though a, a fallen gonk is funny, uh, I'd, I'd prefer to try to avoid that. So I've come up with a fail safe. Ah, every time. I'm so angry. <laughs> he kind of looks like he's wearing slippers. Good news, everyone. Oh, yeah. That gunk isn't going anywhere. All right. Next up is the fun stuff, paint, greeblies, electronics, and I promise part three is not gonna take another three years. In fact, I kinda wanna have him done in time for Maker Camp at the beginning of October. So uh, if you're gonna be there, hopefully he's gonna be there too. All right, you ready to get dinner? Me too.